Hello guys, today I want to talk about form request classes in Laravel and show you that you can use it not even for the forms and not only for the post methods at all. So here's my example for the API of random tip controller. This comes from laraveldaily.com source, which is not public, but I'm trying to pick some code examples and show them as YouTube videos. So recently we launched random quick tips feature, which is actually on the homepage. If you scroll down from the homepage, somewhere in the middle, you will find random quick Laravel tips. So you can refresh a few times and find more tips, refresh again and find shorter or longer tips. And those comes from GitHub. Quite a long time ago, I've launched that Laravel tips repository with more than 300 tips. So I've just imported that into Laravel daily.com and now it is in our database. And there's also, we've launched a public API, which we don't really talk about that much publicly because I'm planning to use it myself to launch the tips on my newsletter and on Twitter and maybe elsewhere, but no one else really need the API for random tip. But if you do need, you may use it. So you can launch Laravel daily.com API V1 tips with two parameters, how many tips you want and format HTML or markdown. And this is the result. You will get the name of the tip and the content in HTML. If we try to refresh again, we have different tips. And if we choose not one, but more tips, for example, count two would give us the array of two tips. And this is where we get to the validation. Of course, we have rate limiting enabled on that to avoid too many requests, but also look at this random is a controller function that accepts get request. It's not a form. Despite that, we can use random tip request, which is a form request class with those validations. So this is important. Min one, max seven from the count. So we don't allow to return more than seven tips. And also we have two formats, HTML or markdown. So what happens if I launch, for example, count 23, send, and we get 422 error, validation error with this count may not be greater than seven. Seven is because I'm sending seven tips per week on my Twitter. This is my plan to add one tip per day for a week ahead. And also there's prepare for validation to set the default values for those. So this is just an example that you can use form requests without the form for get requests and it would still throw the validation error if something goes wrong according to the validation rules. What do you think? Have you used anything like that? Or maybe you have other more elegant way to perform the validation in the get method. Let's discuss below in the comments. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.